what makes your car start. Although people tend to think that most vehicles are totally powered by fuel. Many parts, the radio, the headlights, air conditioner, windshield wipers, power seats and windows, clock, and so on, actually function on electricity, which is provided by the electrical system. The electrical system includes several subsystems that provide your vehicle with the vital spark that makes it start, keep it running, and powers all electrical devices. It's one of the many systems on vehicle that's monitored and controlled by the ECU. The first phase is when you turn the key in your vehicle's ignition, switch to start or activate the ignition by pushing a button, you close a circuit that allows the current to pass from your battery to your starter with a starter solenoid switch. The starter makes the engine turn over. That's the growling sound you hear before the engine starts running smoothly. The electric current stops flowing to the starter but continues to flow through the charging system, which uses an alternator to generate power and charge the battery to the rest of the electrical system. Now, the fuel system comes into play. If you drive a vehicle with an internal combustion engine, whether your vehicle is more than 20 years old or just 20 days old, has a fuel injection or carburetor. It probably has the same basic parts in its fuel system with one exception. On modern vehicles, the fuel system, along with most other systems, is controlled by the ECU. When the engine is running, fuel flows from the fuel pump, usually located inside the fuel tank at the rear of the vehicle, through the fuel filter to the fuel injector into the intake manifold and then into the combustion chamber. Each pound of fuel is mixed with 14.7 pounds of air to form a vaporized mixture, like a mist. Because fuel is much heavier than air, this mixture works out to, to do something like one gallon of fuel to um, 2,000 gallons of air, which is equivalent of a gallon of gas to a room full of air. In other words, your engine really runs on air with a little fuel to help it. The fuel air mixture passes into the cylinders into your engine. A cylinder, as shown in this figure, is hollow pipe with one open end and one closed end. Inside each cylinder is a piston, which fits very snugly and moves up and down. The piston moves up, trapping the fuel air mixture into the upper part of the cylinder and compressing it into the very small space. A spark from a spark plug ignites the fuel air mixture, causing it to burn and expand rapidly. This expansion of gases forces the piston back down again with more power than when it went up. Attached to the bottom of the piston is connecting rod that's attached to a crankshaft, which leads eventually to the drive wheels of your vehicle. 